Gorilla Mind just dropped their first four flavors of their brand new energy drink. And since you have to buy packs of 12, I wanted to do a flavor review so I can give you as much detail as possible because that's what I know I would want if I was purchasing in this quantity. Now, I am not gonna go in depth into each and every ingredient on the can, but just know that this is way more than your typical energy drink that basically just has caffeine. Essentially, all of these ingredients are working together to help improve cognitive function, elevate mood, and can also help suppress appetite. Now, Derek is doing a full-blown video on details of all the ingredients, why he put them in there, scientific breakdowns, and once he does that, I will put it in the pinned comment below. First up is Arctic White. So I wanted to get an actual white monster and compare them side by side. I'm going to start with the monster. It's hard to say what a white monster tastes like. I've always called it like really sweet, dirty water, but it tastes good. Gorilla Mind time. The Gorilla Mind is similar for sure, but there's like a fruity undertone almost. It's sweeter than this one is, and this one was already sweet. So if you don't like really sweet, maybe you won't like this one. You like the monster more. But for me, since this is sweeter and I love my shit so sweet, I'm all about this one. Not like it steps above, but this one makes it a little bit better because it's super sweet and because it has like a fruity flavor to it that I can't put my finger on. It's very hard to describe the flavor of it. 7.9 out of 10. By the way, a seven out of 10 is like a good movie on IMDb. A seven out of 10 is a good energy drink for me. Both of these are above average. Now I am an energy drink fiend. I was super excited when Gorilla Mind announced this. When I knew Gorilla Mind was coming out with their energy drink, the only label that has anything efficacious as far as ingredients goes is Ghost. And just for like a little bit of a comparison, because there's only one ingredient that is the same besides caffeine, is Alpha GPC. This one has 150 milligrams. This one has 400, so almost triple. That's how like jam packed that they made this energy drink. Next one, black cherry. Now I'm not gonna lie, a couple of these flavors I was kind of nervous about. There is some Gorilla Mode flavors that I don't like. Like I don't like Tiger's Blood and I didn't like their cot Cotton Candy Grape because I don't like vanilla cherry Coke. I think the vanilla is like super fake and overpowering and it's just not for me. But let's try this one. If this makes sense, you could tell that it's not a soda and it's supposed to be an energy drink. It has a black cherry flavor and the vanilla to me is very subtle. It is much more like a clean black cherry that's like a, a seltzer almost, if that makes sense. I can totally see this by the way being mixed with uh, alcohol and being great. Be careful, obviously caffeine and alcohol is not great. <clears throat> but this would make a great mixed drink. It's funny because I was so nervous about this one, but this one is quickly becoming one of my favorites out of the group. This one's like an 8.3 out of 10. Since I personally don't like coffee, I always got my day going with an energy drink, like pretty much the whole time I was working a nine to five, and even after I started doing YouTube full time. But when Gorilla came out with Respawn, I started taking Respawn and it literally had me in the zone to work all day and I like looked forward to working. So it had that mood elevation, it had me focused, everything. Funny enough, what's in this energy, not monster, what's in Gorilla Mind's energy drink is very similar to one scoop of Respawn. There's a couple more ingredients in Respawn. Most of the ingredients have the exact same amounts. Big thing here is this is like a dollar 40 per scoop and this is about 350 or 360 after shipping and taxes per can. Now, that is a little bit expensive for a can, but really, if you're buying singles as it is, it's not. Because I went and bought these two yesterday. This was over $3, and this was like 352. So these cost about the same range, but this has way more ingredients. Now, if I wasn't getting these on the house, I would also be drinking Monster as well. So, I love Monster. I will still drink Monster on occasion. If I was paying for the Gorilla Mine ones, what I would do is when I really had a intense like day of work where I had to be completely dialed in, 
I would take this. If I'm just chilling or like I want something to drink that's gonna give me a little bit more energy and I'm going out to have some fun, maybe like, I don't know, go to the park, play some volleyball, play some basketball, I would still drink a Monster. Now, if money isn't an issue, I would pick up Gorilla Mines Energy Drink any day of the week. It has the most potent ingredient label by far. If money is an issue, but you still want all the benefits of the Gorilla Mind, I would just use Respawn. Respawn is less than half the price. You get more ingredients and you get more of some of the ingredients that are in this can. So this is even better than the Monster. But if you have that ritual of drinking a Monster, totally understand if you buy a wholesale case of Monster, and then buy one or two 12 packs of this and use this when you really need it. Next up, exotic kiwi. I mean, this one just smells like the beach, fruity, like I'm going on a vacation. I've never seen an energy drink flavored kiwi. When I got this 12 pack, super excited. When I tried it, even more excited. Like this one is the bomb energy drinks and like candy and stuff doesn't taste like the food at the store but if i had like a gummy this tastes exactly like a like kiwi gummy or skittle or whatever it's so damn good in liquid form these are all super flavorful a lot of flavor going into them the only thing i can, can compare it to is prime prime has like the most flavor i've ever tasted in a drink and especially the kiwi it's like up there where it's like, whoa, flavor overload. So if you like a lighter flavor, this isn't gonna be for you. This is like, holy shit, Kiwi just smacked me in the face. This is a solid 8.6 out of 10. Highly recommend. Full disclosure, I don't really like the Orange Monster that much. So if I say I don't think the Gorilla Mine Orange is that great, but it's better than this orange, that means if you love the Orange Monster, but I think this one is better than the Orange Monster, then you're better off picking up the Gorilla Mine version, or I know that you will like the Gorilla Mine version. Coming off that kiwi, this has like <laughs> no flavor whatsoever. To me, this is just like a fake orange drink. If you've ever had Sunny D, I think Sunny D sucks. It's like having orange juice and then having Sunny D, it's just like so, fake and not even like a good fake flavor in my opinion like to me orange monster is like one of my least favorite monsters which is funny because i love diet orange crush or diet orange fanta if i had to rate this one this one's like a 5.2 out of 10. and some people like i have friends that i've already talked to that love the orange monster it's just not for me our taste buds might be different if you love the orange monster so maybe don't listen to all the other shit I said before this on all the other energy drinks. So what I'm really hoping is that the Gorilla Mind energy drink tastes like Orange Crush because it is called Orange Rush. So there's more flavor, it's sweeter. It's already better than this one just because this is like flat. There's barely any flavor. It tastes more just like carbonated water, like a, a seltzer, where this is way sweeter. Yeah, this is way sweeter and has more of an orange flavor. However, it's still not like a soda, like an orange crush, or like I said, any orange soda. Yeah, for me, this is the lowest one out of all of them. It's still like an average energy drink, but I wouldn't buy a 12 pack of this. I would buy a 12 pack of all the other ones. <laughs> it's average, it's okay. I would drink it if I didn't have the choice of any other energy drink. I'm gonna give the fourth and final flavor a 6.8 out of 10. There's a pinned comment below with the link to purchase. Use code E4CM if you wanna support me and save 10% off. And if you wanna see a review of the Gorilla Mode pre-workout flavors, click this video here. Until next time, deuces.